Welcome to AMC Month in Review, your guide to everything that's happening around the command. This month, AMC leaders speak out against sexual assault. AMC's new chief of staff received his second star in the community honored veterans. Let's take a look at command's accomplishments in April 2019. On April 2nd, Redstone Arsenal held an event kicking off Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. The event included the unveiling of a new sexual assault prevention video featuring AMC leaders speaking out against sexual assault. It's time. It's time. It's time. It is time to stop. It is time to stop sexual assault. AMC Assistant Deputy Commanding General for National Guard Affairs, Major General Alan Harrell, spoke during the event, saying sexual assault negatively impacts morale and readiness. We know that there is still a problem to be addressed. The time to do that is now, right now. We all must stand united across the military and civilian communities to eliminate sexual assault offenses from all types of our communities. On April 4th, Community members recognized Korean War veterans during a luncheon. AMC Commander General Gus Perna served as one of the speakers, commending the veterans for their sacrifices and for the example they set. The men that are here today that sacrificed so many years ago should know and believe that we are grateful for their sacrifice and that their efforts are not without recognition, but more importantly, are understood today in the freedom of the world. On April 12th, AMC's Deputy Commanding General, Lieutenant General Ed Daly, met with university leaders and thanked them for their support to the community. Daly challenged the University of Alabama's Board of Trustees to keep Redstone Arsenal in mind when informing students of opportunities available to them. On April 18th, AMC's new Chief of Staff received his second star in a small ceremony hosted by General Perna. Major General Bob Harder thanked his friends and family for their continued support and said he looks forward to what lies ahead. Thanks to this awesome team, uh, I look forward to working with you, and uh, you know I'm all in uh, on Army Material Command. On April 19th, Major General Harder addressed the National Defense Industrial Association, Tennessee Valley Chapter, during their awards and scholarship dinner. He said, as a soldier, he has benefited from the innovations and technology developed by industry. He told attendees, AMC and the Army is honored to partner with them. And on April 30th, the Madison County community honored two Army veterans by adding their names to a Medal of Honor wall in downtown Huntsville. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Mike Sprayberry and retired Captain Mike Rose are Vietnam veterans and Medal of Honor recipients active in local military organizations. Lieutenant General Daly spoke during the ceremony before the wall was unveiled, praising the Medal of Honor recipients for their sacrifices. Even today, the legacy of Captain Mike Rose and Colonel Mike Sprayberry is very much alive and will continue to live in our future generations. We are here today serving in this great profession of arms because of you two gentlemen. And again, thank you for what you've done for us. To find out more about these topics, Visit AMC's webpage, and thanks again for checking out AMC Month in Review.